Hello friends, today I'm adjusting V meters and I thought I'd share. Uh, what you guys are seeing on my bench are, are actually three uh, UC1 controllers for Yamaha B1 amplifiers. And I just went through a full restoration of these things, obviously rebuilt boards, uh, cleaned the pots and switches, etc. So these things are now ready to readjust. For The V meters are now ready for readjustment, obviously after uh, Terra restoration like this, where I replaced a bunch of components on those V-meter boards, um, everything needs to be realigned. And so that's that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm going to do the silver one with you guys, and then I will do the other two uh, on my own uh, at a later time. So uh, there are basically two ways of adjusting the Yamaha UC1 controllers for the V1 amp. One is to have uh, these things mounted directly into the amplifier, and then you power on the amp, and the uh, the controller gets its power from there, its signal, etc. And so you would have to fit a signal into the uh, amplifier, put some dummy loads onto the amp, essentially um, as as if it uh, was in uh, operational um, condition. Uh, and then there is a different way of uh, adjusting this, and that is to power them up individually on the bench, um, fit in the signal, etc., and then do it that way. And that is the, the avenue I'm going to take. That's the more rational approach for me because I'm doing a batch of these things um, at the same time. And I do not want to, uh, I, I just want to be all done. Uh, it's usually uh, when, when you're doing it with a unit, it's like kind of like the last step at the end of the project. And it's like, man, I want to be all done. I want to button this up and just pop them in the unit. And I know they're going to be working perfectly and I don't have to worry about it later. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. And um, I'm going to share with you a little bit of... Um, what the uh, adjustment procedures are for this thing. We, you could see we have three individual uh, steps, uh, ranges for adjustment here. Um, these amplifiers are actually very, very similar to those in the Yamaha B2 and Yamaha C1, except the Yamaha C1 and B2 have an additional range and the top range is a little different. Yeah, it doesn't reach the plus two, it goes to zero dBs. And it has a minus 20, minus minus 10 minus 20 and minus 30 um or is it yeah yeah it is it is it is one extra range for sure anyway so if you've done that then this is going to look very familiar uh if you have not and you're curious then stick around uh, one thing to call out is likely that as we adjust one of this um uh, ranges then it's going to impact the other so the typical way of adjusting this meters is essentially incrementally going a little bit uh, at a time and until uh, we get it to be all perfect. Um, all right, so uh, again, like I said, uh, on the bench right now, I'm powering this up with my uh, Rodeo Schwartz power supply that you see over there, and the signal comes in from my uh, uh, audio analyzer, which is out of the frame, but and really it's not important, but uh, I have to kind of be looking at it from my angle, but I'm, I can't get it into the frame. Uh, with, with the V-meter, etc. So we're going to focus primarily on the uh, actual V-meter, uh, V-meters on the UC1 controller for this exercise. Let me see if I could zoom this in a little bit more here. There we go. And get this into frame a little bit better. Like that. All right. I hope that's close enough. Anyhow, so I'm going to go ahead right now and power these things on from the power supply. I'm going to turn them on. All right, and so this thing is on. If you see any reflections on that, it's because of things I have on the on the bench. So if you see any reflections on the screens of those meters, it's something reflecting from the bench. The plexi on, the, on, on those meters is pretty much flawless. All right, so now I'm gonna turn the analyzer for the plus two dB adjustments. And I say adjustments because it has to be done individually on each channel. So we clearly see is that is off, right? And that's expect, like really, you know, uh, I replaced every single transistor on these boards. And while that may sound like overkill, um, it is it is almost necessary because all these transistors in the Yamaha amplifiers have black legs. And it isn't just once when I was all down with a job and 
figure out at once everything is all buttoned up together that I have a leaky transistor that's making making the vometer go wonky and there's no more painful um I mean uh, uh there's not enough explanatives that come to mind for those types of situations so let's put it this way it is worth to do this the right way let's see okay so there we go all right I think that's good that's a good start all right so that's the plus two let's go to uh, minus 10. i'm controlling that analyzer from my keyboard so you may not see it, but that's that's what you're hearing all right the plus the minus 10 is kind of close and that's kind of expected the the um the extremes impact each other the most and actually let me go to the um let me go to the minus 20. in uh, in my experience i found uh, that it's actually better to start from bottom up from the than from top down but the manual suggests to start from top down so let's do this and see why am i running close to being out of adjustment with the um with a with a minus 10 okay so minus 20 is okay all right so now i'm no longer out of adjustment range with my pot it works fine all right i'm thinking that plus two it's going to be out of whack right now because of the lower range adjustments and it is that's kind of what happens and as i said this is a it requires patience but um i like to get these things perfect my um my ocd always gets the best of me with these things um ocd is just another fancy name for paranoia i guess all right all right one left is perfect the right is not just a and the camera angle may be a little different than what is required to see this you know i have to see them at eye level and perpendicular so i'm moving my head and my body so i could see this perfectly all right so that's the plus two it looks pretty good right now actually that minus 10 held up pretty well that's kind of expected like the the uh, middle of the range would probably get half as less affected than the extremes affect each other. And that's just logical. I'm not surprised, but it did change. Okay. Well, minus 20 stayed very much the same now with a minor twick all right and the plus two is a problem child here it just constantly gets whacked that was the right side and now the left side yeah so obviously on the uh b2 and the c1 having more um uh, adjustment choices of adjust of range adjustments it actually like these things don't even don't affect each other as much so if you ask me those are those boom meters are easier to adjust even though like the boom meter circuit is nearly identical All right, so let's go back to minus 20. Man, well, this is a boring process, but you get the idea. Um, I don't mind it at all because it's, it's the cherry on a cake for me. It's a long of a, a lot of work, and this is, you know, the fun stuff, but some people may find it annoying 
or may find me too neat picky. But I can't help it. That's just a problem I have. Okay. It stayed where it's supposed to. Yeah, we did. Maybe a hair off. I know you guys are probably quitting watching right now. This guy is crazy. All right, you're probably thinking I'm crazy, but I don't. I don't blame you. Maybe I am a little crazy. Just the left channel. Okay, let's see now. Hopefully for, hoping for, um, for a winning shot. We got one on, we got one on the minus 20. Minus 10. All right, there you have it. It looks, it looks uh, cat's ass, as uh, my friend um, JT likes to say. All right, then uh, there you have it. That's all it takes. Uh, again, if you've done the B2 and the C1, this is probably boring for you. You haven't learned much. But for the rest of you that have not and was wondering how would work, how would uh, the bench adjustment of a UC1 works, there you have it. So yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's very simple, straightforward setup. If you see, um, and the adjustment procedures actually, uh, unlike the adjustment procedures for the B1 amplifier, for the UC1, the adjustment procedure are pretty much accurate. They're right. They're right. Um, yeah, there are no surprises. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments uh, if you have any questions. Let me know. Talk soon. Bye.